Hi, Smart Fox TV viewers. We are wishing you a happy holiday. Please enjoy today's episode, and if you like it, click and subscribe. Spider-Man is one of the most memorable characters in cinema history. Each live-action movie has made over $700 million at the box office. All Spider-Man fans love the Sam Raimi trilogy. Yes, Spider-Man 3 is a good movie. I don't care what no one says. After that, we had the animated series Spectacular Spider-Man, which is very underrated if you ask me. After the show was cancelled, Spider-Man was going through rough times. Since the next Spider-Man movie comes out next week, I thought it would be interesting to tell you the time how Spider-Man returned to its former glory that we love today. In 2012, Spider-Man was rebooted and titled The Amazing Spider-Man, which is not a bad movie by any means. I think Gwen Stacy in Amazing Spider-Man is the best love interest in any of the Spider-Man films that we have seen. As good as the movie is, it still wasn't as great as the Sam Raimi trilogy and Spectacular Spider-Man. At least it wasn't anything like the animated series Ultimate Spider-Man, which is one of the most disappointing Spider-Man shows I've ever seen. 2014 was the release of The Amazing Spider-Man 2, which fans will say is the worst Spider-Man movie in recent memory. There were way too many villains added in one movie because Sony was trying to build up the Sinister Six, which failed brutally. Later, Andrew Garfield was fired by Sony, and they decided to take Spider-Man to a new direction. In 2015, Disney bought the rights to Spider-Man and was finally in the MCU, which became the turning point of Spider-Man's rough road. In 2016, Spider-Man was featured in Captain America Civil War. Even though he was in the movie for 20 minutes, he made a significant impact. In 2017, Tom Holland's Spider-Man solo movie, Spider-Man Homecoming, was released. The film was very well received. It was a different take on the character and overall was a good movie. 2018 was probably the best year to be a Spider-Man fan, with the great content we ended up getting. Spider-Man was featured in one of the biggest movies of all time in Avengers Infinity War. In addition, Spider-Man had a new game that year developed by Insomniac, which is one of the greatest adaptations of Spider-Man that I have ever seen. And of course, we have Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse. It is up there with Toy Story as one of the greatest animated movies of all time. 2019 was the release of MCU Spider-Man's second film, Spider-Man Far From Home, which featured Mysterio, played by Jake Gyllenhaal, a great Spider-Man villain I haven't yet seen on the big screen until now. 2020, Spider-Man fans got to play Spider-Man Miles Morales, a spin-off from the video game that I mentioned earlier. It was short, but it was still a fantastic game that got fans even more excited for the sequel. 2021 will be the release of MCU Spider-Man's third film, Spider-Man No Way Home. The movie features villains from older Spider-Man movies such as Alfred Molina as Dr. Octopus, Jamie Foxx as Electro, and William Dafoe as Green Goblin. For at least the next two years, we will still be receiving Spider-Man content, with the sequel of Spider-Verse coming out next year, and the sequel of Insomniac Spider-Man coming in 2023. So this is one of the best times to be a Spider-Man fan. Thank you so much for watching Smart Fox TV. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and subscribe. Now it's time for some Christmas trivia. In a Christmas story, what gift does Ralphie receive from his aunt? And finish this iconic line from It's a Wonderful Life. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets his. And finally, where does the Polar Express take the children? Stay tuned for the answers. Hey everyone, this is Kim and thanks for joining me for some cool news. If you are a fan of the Fast and the Furious franchise like I am, a fun fact to know is that when Paul Walker died in 2013, in general, his daughter um, was the goddaughter of Vin Diesel. And in October of this year, when she wed, it was Vin Diesel that walked her down the aisle. House of Gucci, starring Lady Gaga, portrays the real-life story of the Gucci family. A once humble woman named 
Patricia Reggiani marries into the Gucci family, and that's when the story really unfolds. Since December 2nd of its release date, it has been a box office hit and still continues to reign number one in the UK. In 2009, there was a very popular song by New Boys called You're a Jerk, and with it came a certain dance that was breaking across all schools in California, (laughs) maybe across the nation as well. And it was recently that I stumbled across a video of administrator in what seems as a middle school dancing with the students, knowing how to put down the jerking moves. Tripping, I ain't even doing nothing. I'm a jerk. You ain't never lie, but hey, do me a favor, call me jerk one more time. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. Hey, hey. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. I know. You're a jerk. Hey, hey. Jerk, 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 jerk. Everything quiet in the bass, real hard, and I stay geeked up. This is Kim and thanks for joining me for some cool news. So in the Christmas story, what gift does Ralphie receive from his aunt? He receives a pink bunny outfit. The iconic line from It's a Wonderful Life, every time a bell rings, an angel gets his wings. Finally, where does the Polar Express take the children? To the North Pole. Thanks for playing Christmas Trivia. This is Tracy. Hi, this is Sally. And thanks for watching Smartbox TV. Stay Stay foxy. foxy.